I don't have all the answers. My kind has failed in many ways, but you are no better. Look, all I know is the planet is going to die if you don't stop this. And so will everyone on it. There must be another way. Well then, I must try to fight you again. I can't just rush in. Maybe I can use the gunk outside as a distraction? about wilderness. Everything all right, Ronnie? It will be. We just have to let everyone out of here. 
Roger. Taking the bunny down. be able to launch one last time. You're like the most resourceful person I know. We've got this. <laughs> All right. Let's get to work. Now what? Now, I'm erasing all the location data from our logs. If the big corpse come here, this place is screwed. There's gonna be a whole lot of questions to answer about where we've been. No doubt. But it won't be the first time we've lied to the authorities. We'll cook something up. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? A phantom quantum bolt. Erase the ship's data. And we only managed to recreate everything except for the location blocks. What the hell is a phantom quantum bolt? I don't know, but it sounds cool. Okay, okay, uh, we were loading titanium ore on Celeb Luna, but the ice was too thick and the coal destroyed all the hard drives. Good work, if Celeb Luna wasn't owned by Stella Enterprise Inc. Damn it! They're everywhere! We, we, we lost our cargo in a meteor belt and had to sell all detachable tech to make it back home. No? Okay. Uh, we got stranded on the uninhabited side of Mars, and a terrible sandstorm destroyed our drive. Uh, we got poisoned, and the substance decreased our intelligence by 50%. And thus, we can't be held responsible for our actions. Plausible. If they examined our brains, they'd find you actually have less brain cells than most people. Oh, but they'd find my brain is still above average. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I give up. Why don't you come up with something? All right. You talked me into landing on a shitty dead space rock. Then you roamed the wasteland for days in search of who knows what. We ran out of fuel. And I stripped the ship of everything that would burn excessive energy, including all loose tech, eh? I then navigated us home using an old star map. And you have now promised to write poems praising my greatness, one every day, for the rest of your life. Hey, not too bad. Except the part about the one poem a day. I mean, no one would believe I pledged that kind of commitment. Good point. Maybe we should just pretend to have severe memory loss. Last thing we remember is a green frog filling up the cabin, and after that, nothing. How does that explain the erased logs? The fog made them evaporate? Oh, it's gonna be a long trip home. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> 